In today's video, we're going to take a look at some chords used by some of my favorite modern guitarists like Julian Lodge and Galad Hexelman. And this is a continuation on my uh, video series about using spread triads. So if you missed the first one, um, feel free to go back and watch it. But just to quickly recap what a spread triad is, is say for example I was playing this D major triad with my root on the A string. This is what we would call a closed position triad because all of the notes are contained within one octave. So to make it a spread triad, what I would do is I would go, I have my notes D, F sharp, and A here. So that F sharp is going to go up an octave. And now rather than playing this, where these intervals are all close together, now I would end up with this. Which is a really, really beautiful open sound. And you can get these really complex and beautiful sounds out of these simple triads, which is something that I love because when I was first kind of getting into harmony on the guitar, I used to think that triads were kind of rudimentary and simple, but really, things like this have just such a beautiful sound to them. So today's video, we're going to look at spread triads in root position, third and bass, and fifth and bass, all the way up the A string as our lowest note. So let's dive in. Um, our root position chords tend to be fairly easy for people to grab because they're pretty closely related to bar chords that you probably already know and love. Uh, there's going to be diagrams popping up in this top left of the screen here. Um, you are more than welcome to download these diagrams for free from my website. There'll be a link in that description there. But anyways, let's take a look at these. So, let's use the key of C as our first key. What we're going to do is we're going to play a harmonized major scale. So I'm just going to play all of the chords from C major in order up my neck until I get to C again and then I'll play them all the way back down. So this is gonna look like this. C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, that, A minor, B diminished, C major, B diminished, A minor, this is G, F, E minor, D minor, and then we go down to C. Now, when we put our third in the bass, these chord shapes get a lot more difficult, so please be kind to yourself while you practice this, and it'll maybe take a while before your hands are super comfortable grabbing these shapes, but I promise you the work is worthwhile. These are beautiful, beautiful sounds. But let's take a peek at, we'll do the key of A major. So now, that previous iteration we did was root, fifth, third. Now, it's going to be third, root, fifth is the order of our notes. So our A major is going to be down here with my pointer finger on the uh, second fret of the G string. And we're going to follow our roots up that G string for these. So here's A major. Our B minor is going to look like this. Then we get C sharp minor. D major here. E major. This is going to go to F sharp minor. We're going to get G sharp diminished. Then we're all the way back up at A major there. G sharp diminished. F sharp minor, E major, D major, C sharp minor, B minor, and A major. So there's our third and bass chords all the way up in the key of A major. So now let's take a peek at fifth and bass chords, and we're going to be looking at the key of E flat major for this first one. And again, this one's gonna start incorporating a pretty gnarly stretch. So however you find you can deal with this or if you can only practice these for a little bit before your hand kind of cramps up, just keep working on it a little bit every day. It'll get better and better, I promise. And it's worth doing because these are beautiful, beautiful sounds. But so here for this E flat, I'm gonna have this. So I've got my pointer finger, my ring finger, and my, uh, my pointer finger, my pinky, and my ring finger. And the layout of this chord is we have five, three, one. So here's E flat major, 
this is going to become F minor, which becomes G minor. G minor is going to go up to A flat major. This is going to go to B flat major. Now we're going to get C minor. This is going to become D diminished. This one's a pretty big reach. And then we get back to E flat major. E flat major is going to fall to D diminished, to C minor, to B flat major, A flat major, G minor, F minor, E flat major again. Now again, these chords have some pretty big reaches between them, so if you're feeling uncomfortable, if it's really, really hard for your hand to grab, it's totally normal. Just kind of, you know, hang in there, bear with it, because these are really, really beautiful chords once you get a feel for them. Um, and yeah, I just, I just love the sound of these wonderful chords. So once you get comfortable playing these in a harmonized major scale, the next kind of thing would be applying them to songs that you already know. So say for example, maybe I'm playing a 1-4-5 in the key of C, whatever the song is, and I go from this C, maybe then I end up on this F, and then maybe I end up on this G, which I would do. So. This takes me here. So you just kind of work around with these and see where you can plug them in. Um, because they're really, really beautiful chords and you get lots of really nice. So wherever you're at with these, just take it slow, a little bit at a time. If you found this video interesting or useful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. It really helps me out more than you could ever know. If you want to download these diagrams, they're available for free on my website, link in the description below. If you want to take a guitar lesson with me, I have a link to the contact page of my website. I'd absolutely love to work with you on whatever's troubling you on the guitar. I've been working with a bunch of you from YouTube lately, and it's been a really, really fun time for me to connect. Lastly, I've got new videos coming out every Monday and Thursday, so I'd love to see you in the next one. And until I do, I'll wish you a wonderful day, and I hope you get to have some fun playing the guitar. Thank you so much for watching.